So here we have an outfit, right? For a night of Valentine. That's right, for your boyfriend, fiance, husband, okay? So by the third year, you should be married. I wouldn't wait like I did, you know, like five years because I wanted a church wedding. So this is an outfit we got the wet latex. This is a polyurethane, so it is like um, fall leather. This is real leather, honey. Okay, so you're gonna know the difference once you buy real leather and then you're wearing fake leather in the picture. Okay, so this is my real leather coat with my, what was it? With my, yeah, Ford car that gave you a ride on Valentine's Beach. So we're gonna go into my date rape of 2006, that's right. Most rapists are men that you've known or, you know, someone in the family, um, for instance. You know, you want to wear um, fashion jewelry. Let's say you're going to be sitting, here's here's a, a fall leather vest to go with a basic, you know, not too appealing type of top. So, you know, you play it with some fall leather skirt and a fall top with some lace. That's right. You know, make sure there's no hole. Be careful because lace rips, but this is not, it's not ripped. It's just... It just looks it because it's lace, okay, ladies? So be a little, you know, sensual at the date, but not too raunchy. He might bring you home to meet the parents. If he takes you to his house, just know that a man in his mind is going to believe that he has a right to some kind of intimate act with you, okay? So when you're sitting at the table, he's going to be looking at you this way. And pull your hair back. And, you know, wear earrings. Make sure, you know, if you have a square jaw, be careful. That's why I'm wearing bangs, okay? So this is what you're going to look like sitting at the table. So anyway, this family member um, attacked me. It was a sexual assault. And I reported it. And um, nothing happened. The family was very apathetic, meaning that they showed no sympathy, no concern or nothing. Um, my mother didn't care, okay? Because she's not a mother. She's a woman in my life from... Five years old, she was a woman, and that's what our relationship has been. And I've been that way because you shouldn't get away with that without, you know, giving me up for adoption, right? People, thank you. There's always adoption. Open adoption, you know, is when um, you're in their life for two, three years and transition into a new family for your child, okay? But the bitch was selfish. She used me for tax purposes. So get out of the way. Okay, so anyway, I reported they didn't believe me because I'm the drama queen. And, um... They didn't believe me until a second victim came forth, which was, um, I don't know how old this victim was, but uh, he was almost deported. I'm not sure if he was, and I don't care. Um, but he was a family member of mine. And then, of course, ladies, chicken cutlets. I bought mine. So before you buy them, try them on. This is a size C. Mine are double Ds because I'm short. So, you know, I tend to get big and gain weight. So... The boobs, I don't gain weight on my breast area. I gain weight in my butt, okay? That's what I, so, you know, yeah, okay. That's why I wear skirts and dresses because I wasn't raped naturally, like, it, was a, it wasn't a vaginal rape. I was raped like a man. So, uh, anyway, I reported it. My family member, my rapist, was someone I knew just as an acquaintance. And he was raped as a child. And um, I took that into consideration when he forced me into that act. Now be careful with a rape court case, court case because if you consent to sex, the judge will be like, hey, you gave him permission. But the act of anal rape is not a consensual act, and you need to prove that. And going to the hospital and getting it documented, getting the semen, and getting you know, um, all the proper treatment for a, a rape is necessary for proof in court. It'll show that he was a forced, a forced um, act, not a consensual. Even though you said yes to a specific act, doesn't necessarily mean you said yes to that sex act. So don't let it go. I let my rapist go. So ladies, watch out. You know, it might happen to you since you're that way with me. So be careful. Don't go home with him if you are not ready to give it up to him, okay? Be smart about it, okay? Go home to his parents' house maybe, meet his parents, but not to his home. Be safe. And don't try to give it up in the car.
That is so cheap.